what happened to um, the bill, that the energy bill that Obama was going to propose? Remember the big compromise? Hey, genius idea of, uh, I'll give in to the Republicans before uh, we even get to negotiations. And uh, Obama said, all right, don't worry, the new energy bill will have so much more offshore drilling. And then we had this disaster, and then Obama was overheard saying, oops. Obama, how do you feel about including that in the bill now? Yeah, I regret it. I'm sorry. I'm saying I'm sorry. That was just my mistake and my bad. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So uh, now Bill Nelson, the se senator from Florida, also the senators from New Jersey, saying that Obama's energy proposal is dead on arrival, that as long as it includes offshore drilling, none of those senators will come within 100 miles of it. And uh, so it's not going to work. And now if they don't do the offshore drilling, they lose all the Republicans. But you were going to lose all the Republicans anyway. The one guy they might have had on their side on this was Lindsey Graham. And what did Lindsey Graham do? He, he did this earlier uh, this week anyway. He said, oh, no, if you're going to consider immigration, then I'm not uh, with you on the energy bill. Look, he was going to find some excuse. They always do. They're never with you. I mean, I really wonder what goes on inside the Obama administration. Do they sit there and go, oh, we know they're not going to be on our side, but let's pretend for the sake of the cameras and stuff. Or are they like, hey, we got Lindsey Graham. Great. Let's give him all these concessions. Let's give him all these Oh, no. Lindsey's not going to vote with us because of immigration. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Golly gee, willikers. And we just lost all the Democrats, too, because we did the compromise with a Republican who, it turns out, wasn't going to sign the deal anyway before negotiations even began. Look, man, I'm telling you, I might have gotten more grief when I went after Obama on that than anything else, okay, on any other issue. And everybody said, oh, Jake, you don't understand. Obama's a genius. His compromises are so brilliant, they blind you. You can't understand their logic. Okay? How's that logic working out for you now? Energy bill, dead on arrival. Okay? Now, by the way, final twist to that. Uh, guess who wins in the end? Corporate America. Why? Because now the energy bill's totally dead. Okay, yeah, sure, there won't be a little bit more offshore drilling, but there also won't be any fix. There won't be any reform. So, ironically, the oil companies are ecstatic about this. They're like, oh, there was an oil spill. That means you're not going to reform the oil industry. Hmm. Funny how that works out. Democrats and Republicans agree we'll have no reform. They win no matter what happens. Unless we had a president who was an ass kicker and he said hey you know what here's the new reform bill and I'm gonna shove it down your throat and I'm not gonna talk about compromises and if you don't agree I'm gonna say hey you know what Lindsey Graham and all the other Republicans they're the ones that gave you drill baby drill that caused oil spills like this no but I'm uh, I, I'm being unreasonable that wouldn't be the smart way to go well Obama went really really smart and now we have apparently, if you believe the senators, a 0% chance of passing an energy reform bill. How do you like that kind of genius?